What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, smash the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Let's get started. So, as a result of me using up all my coupons and not wanting them to expire through my Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs app, and Finish Line app, I decided to order another uh, Nike Cortez. The reason I ordered these is because I make a lot of money on these shoes. All these old school um, popular shoes like, you know, New Balance, Sauconies, Asics, Nike Cortez, things of that nature. Um, I'm easy are very easy for me to flip here in town um, So I got these these are called the Nike Cortez basic leather suggested retail price 75 official colorway is black slash black anthracite 9.5 is official colorway. There's a product these sell out online very fast I'm surprised they're still sitting uh, at, uh, on full locker, but there's the quality control stamp that you get from the warehouse distribution center and then here they are guys the Nike Cortez basic leather and the triple black colorway very very clean colorway you can't go wrong with these you can wear these with everything they're classic i mean like i said they're worth your buck i paid after the 15 dollars off i paid a little bit under 60 bucks which is really good very very nice i i'm very um i'm a really good um <clears throat> i keep a really good eye on these so when they restock i was able to get these these weren't on the site um they just restocked recently after they released the uh forest gump Nike Cortezes, they restocked on a lot of their colorways. For some reason, the black nylon, triple black nylon version of these always sells out. So I haven't been able to get that. I want those because they're lightweight and they feel more comfortable than these. But anyways, standard um, basic black leather upper all throughout the shoe blacked out completely. Nike swoosh is blacked out on both sides. The laces are blacked out. The emblem here, it says Cortez 1972 is blacked out and glossy finish to it. The laces are blacked out. The insole is blacked out and screen printed with a Nike um, branding on it that's also blacked out. So very nice. And then the midsole is blacked out, which is my favorite part because I don't have to worry about cleaning it so much. Um, and then Nike uh, back here is blacked out as well. And then the outsole is completely blacked out as well, which is also nice. All in all, very nice shoe. Super, super nice. Can't go bad with these. Um, for some reason here in my town, not a lot of people are up to trend with shoes. We don't have a really big sneaker culture out here. All we do, we do have boutiques and a few consignment shops. But um, people in general aren't really into the boost wave yet as much as they should be as they are on, you know, cities out on the coastal areas, rather it's the East Coast or the West Coast. So trends usually tend to flow in over time. If you don't know that, study psychology and you realize that. But um, all the trends start on the coastal area, so west coast, east coast, and then they slowly just come into the Midwest. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Afton Sinker and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.